Dylan from Ekahau, where he's going to show us a demonstration of the hand hygiene compliance. So can you please show us a demonstration? Absolutely. Ekahau has teamed up with Gojo Industries, the maker of Perel Sanitizer. Uh, with the application, we're using our T301 badge tags and their dispenser. And for uh, demonstration purposes, I'm going to take my tag off. Within the Gojo SmartLink dispenser, We've installed an IR fob within the actual unit right here. When the healthcare worker comes up to the dispenser and dispenses the actual sanitizer, the IR fob receives an electrical pulse, which then sends the uh, infrared signal to the T301 BD personal tag. And so what the healthcare worker does is they approach the sanitizer and dispenses the sanitizer. At this point, an IR wavelength is sent to our badge tag, which is captured and sent through the wireless network to our hand hygiene compliance application. At that point, it's actually capturing that time of the hand hygiene event. When the healthcare worker then enters into the patient's room, we then capture that event with IR within the, installed into the patient's room and that also gives us a timestamp. Now we take the hand hygiene event timestamp and we compare that with the area enter event timestamp and based on the difference between those time, that healthcare worker is either compliant or non-compliant. On our application, the hand hygiene compliance application, we have a dashboard for the executives to go and see what is trending within their facility. Uh, if they want an ad hoc report or an instant report on either groups or multiple uh, healthcare workers, we actually can run reports based on their needs. In this, we can select uh, all the healthcare workers within the facility or a group or multiple groups. When you select a group, we can actually do it by a specific day. And when all we need to do is select those that either group or the actual individuals. When we go ahead in the report, the system goes through the database and it's taking all the actual events of hand hygiene events and how many enter events that healthcare performed, displays their compliance for their rub in uh, performance, and we also do it for when the healthcare worker is actually uh, leaving the patient's room. We actually capture, once again, the health hand, uh, hygiene events and compare those with ex their exit events from the patient's room, thus giving them the compliance. And after that, we actually take the two of the rub-in and rub-out compliances, and we display it their total compliance. Great, well thank you for being with us today, Phil. Thank you very much. This is Kelly Miller for Healthcare IC News, coming to you from the HIMSS 12 show floor with Eka Howe. This is Kelly Mailer from Healthcare IT News, coming to you live from the HIMSS show floor with Gojo Industries with Sean Worthman. Thank you for being with us today, Sean. Thank you. So can you tell us how important hand hygiene is for the individual caregiver? Uh, for the individual caregiver as well as for the institution, hand hygiene is very important. Uh, it's a critical uh, measure of overall patient safety and caregiving for the patient. Uh, and it's important in their daily routine and daily workflows to stop the spread of infection. Uh, and so that's why it's uh, such an important aspect. Great. So Sean, what are the benefits of leveraging a facility's existing Wi-Fi network and how is that cost effective? Well, it's very effective for the, uh, the institution to leverage what the, they've already invested in terms of the Wi-Fi network, uh, a network that can be easily, um, you can easily attach devices and utilize the infrastructure that's there. Uh, so you don't have to set up proprietary networks and all that expense and cost. And there's a, a, also a, quite a disruption in terms of uh, care provided to the patient because you have to enter into the rooms and the uh, units to uh, install those systems. So leveraging a system that's already in place that you've invested millions of dollars in uh, makes a lot of sense. Great. Thank you for being with us today, Sean. Thank you.